So we're going to upload our screenshot of our design and I'm just going to type in generate the HTML from the given design using tailwind CSS classes and make it responsive and we'll hit start and as you can see it's going through and starting to write our mark up here and it's just finished and I can see it's stopped a little bit early so it stopped just before the pricing section. I think maybe it uses too many tokens, but we will go through and copy what we've got so far, take it into VS Code. And the first thing I'm gonna do is swap out the on-demand tailwind for the one that's already built into my application. Then we'll just go down and see where we got to in terms of section, I think. All we need to do here is close off the body tag, close off the HTML tag and hit save. Obviously we'll be missing the pricing section, but let's go and see what it's done for us. So as you can see, it's copied the design. It's written in the logo rather than done it as an image. It's attempted to do HTML for the image in the design, which is pretty cool. And we've got our navigation at the top and sign up button. Everything in here looks good. It's done these a little bit differently and it's used emojis where the icons are. But if we look at the design, you can see it's slightly more simplistic, but this is fine. And then features, it's done the same sort of thing. So, and it's even done the kind of different background colors in there to break things up. So next what we'll do is give it a bit less to work with. So if we upload an image just for one section, so if we do the pricing block on its own and then say, can you generate Tailwind HTML markup with Tailwind CSS classes for this section? And that just took a minute to run and it's given us some pointers to the markup. And also it's telling us that it's provided a responsive layout using Tailwind classes. So that's pretty cool. And we can come up and copy this section in and then go back to VS Code and we'll put the pricing section in and whoa, okay. So it's done a much better job, much closer to the design. So if I come down to the pricing block, there's a few differences in terms of the sign up buttons over to the right and things like that, but it's still very close and a very good start. It wouldn't take long to just tweak those things yourself or even just roll with what it's got because it looks decent. The only other things would be then making these bullet points a little bit smaller. So the kind of headings are bigger in the design and these are a little bit smaller. The same with the headings here, but all of that stuff can be changed easily enough. We'll just try that again with the footer block as well and it's done the same giving us some advice on the markup and um, we'll take this footer section and come to and paste it in as well okay wow it's got the footer very actually it's done it slightly differently to the design it's not the same layout but it's still very useful and definitely something that could be usable the one other thing i want to try is the responsive aspect of it. So as you can see here, everything looks responsive, works on mobile just fine. That's actually really good. And I'd be really happy using that code. The last thing we're going to try is the feature section. So for the hero section, I'm going to give it a little bit more of a prompt. So I'll say, can you generate me HTML markup with Tailwind CSS for this hero section the content on the right image of the testimonial you can use it assertive instead and that took a moment to run it's given us some helpful tips and stuff there it even puts code comments in which is really cool and uh, we can copy this and go to our layout and basically swap out the hero section so this section here We'll paste in the new hero section and let's go and see what that looks like. So it's it's left a placeholder div for the testimonial as well. We've got our buttons in there. The last one that I wanted to do is the features section. So if we 
go to ChatGPT and we'll upload features block and say, can you do the same for this features block? Okay. And um, we'll take this, copy it, go back to our code. So we've got the hero block, features block is here. And um, we'll paste this in and reload. That's much closer to the design. It's even used blue background colors and it's got placeholders for it for our images as well so if we go back to the preview not features pretty close pricing's close footer is good and the only thing left then is this section so if we go back and upload that again and say can we do the same for this section and i will take this code paste it in oh, Features section here. Man, if we reload this, not that's again much closer. There's some space in, like we'd like these three elements to line up the way these three elements line up as well. Maybe we can try that and see what happens. Okay, let's check and see if that's any better. Wow, perfect. Okay, that's pretty awesome and very powerful, as I'm sure you can see. So there's still some stuff to do. Maybe we could give it some hints in terms of what the max width of the sections should be because it's obviously using a different max width for these two sections maybe if i tell it regenerate the header can you regenerate the hero section i'll make the max width of the container match the feature section so let's try this out for the new hero section so let's go back it's a little better but it's still not perfect i think Really, if we improve our prompts and told it a max width of the container to kind of match these up better, so the header and the footer kind of match up, but these sections in between, I think, are a little bit narrower. Definitely, but it's still an awesome starting point and definitely much easier than trying to do all this stuff from scratch and get it aligned up. You'll save a lot of time using ChatGPT to get the basics of your design and kind of wireframe your site and then you can go ahead and fine tune the widths of things and insert your logos and icons and all of that.